guys these oaks oh my goodness they're beautiful we are headed down into the historic part of downtown savannah and i'm so excited it's so pretty down here by the river i love all the old buildings there's a ton of history down here Are you stuck, baby? Come on, this way. I think she's stuck. <laughs> Can't get her down. Come here. <laughs> she's rescued. <laughs> All right, down you go, Bits. We're down in the historic part of Savannah, and we are down on River Street. Savannah is so rich with history. It's really old, y'all. It was founded in 1733, which makes it almost 300 years old. And it's one of the original 13 colonies. The cobblestone streets were laid from the stones taken off ships when they docked in the ports. And I really like this old World War II memorial that commemorates local soldiers who fought in the war. All right, let's head back up and see what else there is to do around Savannah. Even in the winter, everything is just beautiful. I can see why Savannah is a big tourist destination. It really is something everyone should experience. Now seems like the perfect time for a local treat. And I found this really cute little cupcake shop, so let's head on in. So good. Well, that was cool. I had a delicious cupcake and made a new friend. So let's find dinner. One of my favorite things about old historic towns, especially in Savannah, is the gas lamps. I think that's so cool. All right, something about this place just speaks to me. An RV themed restaurant called Trailer Park. That's right up my alley. And I ended up sitting in front of this inspirational door I just had to share with you because it is so oddly appropriate for me. And these are the Trailer Park Nachos. They're waffle fries smothered in ranch dressing, chicken, bacon, and a balsamic vinaigrette. <laughs> I think I have done just about everything right here in the historic part of Savannah that I'm going to get to do. It's getting a little cold and I can't spend all day on vacation so it's time to go do some adulting stuff. I have laundry to do, lots of it actually, and I found a laundromat kind of close by so I'm gonna head that way and do some laundry. We are standing at the Avenue of the Oaks. It's 400 giant oak trees planted down a mile and a half drive at Wormslow State Park in Savannah, Georgia. It is home of the oldest colonial ruins in Georgia and we're gonna go check it out. Come on. Oh, and Bitsy's allowed to come. Say yay, Bitsy. Cool. We are walking down a trail. Oh, the sun is in my face, sorry. Ah, that always seems to happen when I'm trying to film. Jesus. There, is that better? We're walking down this beautiful trail to what the sign said was early colonial life. 
So hopefully we get down there before they close. It's like a mile or something. This old house is pretty cool, so I wanted to check this out. Look at the walls. It says it's Waddle and Daub. I'm not sure how to say that, but it's like an old way of constructing the walls out of sticks, it looks like. Cool little upstairs. And this is just how people lived. Very cool. Guys, there's a deer over there. Hi guys! Hi beautiful deer! Busy's going crazy. Alright, well they all ran off. Aw, that was cool, huh? Bitsy's going crazy now. She saw them running out there. She's used to chasing deer at my parents' house, that's why. Alright, well I'm going to walk through the woods holding my camera out in front of me and try not to trip. Yeah, I'll turn it off for a minute. I'll check back in if I see anything else before we head out because it's getting close to closing time. I know there's a lot more out here, but I came kind of late in the day and I'm kind of slow. Stopped to take a lot of pictures. <laughs> this is where they played their colonial cricket matches. It says cricket, Georgia's first athletic sport. guys, I just thought I would show you really quick what the non-glamorous side of car life looks like. And it is a dark green... Oh, crap. Hey guys, I just thought I would show you what the non-glamorous side of car life looks like. It is a dark rainy night outside. I don't even know if you can tell. Well, you can see the rain on the window. I am sitting here in my front driver's seat doing homework on a pillow. I have a $5 Little Caesars pizza here that my dog really wants. And uh, yeah, she is dying for a slice of pizza. <laughs> I can't even hold the camera back far enough. All right, so yeah, that is uh, a normal night for me. Just in case you were wondering. I gotta go feed this little girl or she's gonna explode. So we're down at River Street in downtown historic Savannah. Here's the view of this area. You can see the bridge out there. Bitsy, what are you doing? Spray oh, sure. That's great. Thanks. What's your name? Oh, Bitsy. Yeah. You're she's a friend. <laughs> So people are taking pictures of, of us. Anyway, so we are down at River Street in downtown historic Savannah and we have some plans tonight that Bitsy gets to be a part of. So yay, yeah, you get to come. We are going up to Min Moon River Restaurant just now to have a drink, which you guys don't get to see me do very often on this channel. And maybe a quick bite to eat. It is in the old, not the oldest, um, but one of the most haunted buildings in America, so it should be interesting. And then after that, we have a ghost tour of downtown Savannah, so I will be sharing some of that with you guys. And so yeah, let's get started. Ready, Bitsy? You ready? <laughs> She's like, yeah, get me down from here. 
Come on. Good girl. She did it. She made the jump. All right, let's go. Fitzy sees a friend at another table. She's having like a meltdown over it. Is there a friend over there, Fitzy? <laughs> She's done to herself down here. <laughs> She's wrapped herself around the chair so many times she can't get out. I can't wait for you guys to see what I just ordered. I'm really excited. So this is the Moon River Brewing Company beer sampler. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? <laughs> Let's try it. I like that one. That one's good. My food came. I ordered wings. Those look delicious. Okay guys, I was just exhaling and I could see my breath and it is not that cold out. Do you think it was a ghost? I don't know. That kind of freaks me out a little bit, to be honest. I can see it, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but I can definitely see my breath when I'm exhaling and it is not that cold outside right now. Anybody know where Bitsy is? Hey Bitsy! <laughs> Something freaked her out. <laughs> so that was it for Moon River. The food is delicious. Some of the beers were really good. I'm sure they were all really good. Some of them I really liked. I may have had a ghost experience. Maybe not. I think Bitsy might have had a ghost experience. <laughs> Alright, let's go do our ghost walk. Or our haunted walk. Whatever they want to call it. I am walking through one of the many squares that Savannah has in their historic downtown area. There's like... I don't even know. I'll insert the number down below. There's a bunch of different squares. Confused and disoriented because there's all these different squares scattered all over. <laughs> and it gets very confusing when you see one and then you see another and you kind of like forget which one's which and which way you're going. And anyway, it's kind of cool. So, all right, we are almost at our ghost tour. I've been carrying Bitsy like this forever and, and she's getting heavy, but she refuses to come out. Come on, Bitsy. Come out. Come on. She doesn't want to walk herself. Boy, whatever she saw back there must have really spooked her. She won't even come out of my bag. Come on, Bitsy. Let's go. It's okay. You're gonna be okay. You all go on the haunted tour? Are you scared? Come on. I am looking for this place to meet these people and I'm looking for a square. There is a square down there. There's a square down there. I don't think you guys can see them, but there's squares on either side. Remember what I was saying about confusing and disorienting? I'm confused and disoriented right now. I'm looking for a square, that's all I know. We'll go towards this one. Ooh, creepy lights at the palm reader. That's cool. And we found our group up ahead there. I'm just dragging behind taking pictures of the beautiful buildings down here. God, it's gorgeous down here in Savannah. And over here, our guide was explaining that if you look around in the trees, you won't see any Spanish moss. And that's because right over there where those people are standing is where they used to do all the hangings. And they say that the land here is cursed. Everywhere else around us, there is Spanish moss. Here, there's none. This is the cemetery. 
And it has an interesting story because they needed to widen the road. But instead of digging up the bodies and moving them, they just widened the road over where the bodies were buried. So underneath the sidewalk here, there's actually a bunch of bodies. Kind of creepy. Whew. Okay. Well, can't get the lighting quite right here. Is that any better? Sorry. Really struggling. This is not working. Okay. I think that's as good as we're going to get. So the walking like dark history ghost tour was pretty cool. We didn't like, it wasn't so much about ghosts particularly. Um, obviously like they can't guarantee you're going to see ghosts, right? Like, and I didn't go in there expecting that. Um, it was more just like a history tour really, which was cool. It was like a walking history tour of a lot of the, um, <laughs> a lot of the, um, dark, like, Sorry, but this is really distracting me. <laughs> Do you want to sit up here? You can sit up here. Oh, there's my case of waters is in her bed and she's like freaking out because she can't find a good place. Anyway, okay, so it was like more about the history of like murders and stuff like that. So we just walked around the historic parts of Savannah and I will insert a couple clips of stuff that I did take videos of. But most of it is just like alleys and brick walkways where bodies were buried underground and then they weren't discovered until hundreds of years later when they were trying to pave the streets or um, like this one lady who lived in really old, a really old building um, down here where she ended up killing somebody and burying him in the wall and they didn't discover it until they were renovating and took down this false wall in 1987 and found these bones that had been there for like a hundred years. And also, one thing that I did learn that was pretty cool was this um, story of this woman who was accused of killing someone when she was actually, she was, I guess, present in the room, but somebody else killed the person. Anyway, she got hung for it, and um, she didn't get hung at first because they tried to hang her, and she claimed to be pregnant, and so they let her carry out the pregnancy, give birth, never let her see the child, and then they hung her afterwards. And she, like, cursed the town or the square or something. I don't remember exactly. But where she was hung, he took us to that spot where they used to hang people. And you can see, I'll insert the clip because I did take a quick little video of that because it was pretty cool. Where they used to hang people, there is no Spanish moss growing in the trees. Um, everywhere else, like all of Savannah, everywhere has Spanish moss in the trees. And even on the other side of the square where they would, would hang people, there's moss in the trees. But where exactly in that area where they would hang people on that side of the square, no moss. And so they are, the legend is that either she cursed it or there's also like an Indian legend that goes along with it too. And they're like, could be one or the other, we don't know. But that for some reason that they assume is paranormal in some way, there's no moss growing on the trees in that one little area, which is kind of interesting. So, um... Anyway, that was the ghost tour, um, the dark history of Savannah tour. It was kind of cool. I learned some things. I saw some things and, um, it was cold. It was like 50 degrees and Bitsy was in my bag most of the time. So I'm like carrying her on my shoulder, like hunched over with this giant weight. Now my back and my neck are really sore, but, um, and this one girl, this girl from Charleston that was like on the tour with us, she's like this tiny little thing kind of an older lady obsessed with dogs she was like so worried about Bitsy being cold and she like actually came over and stuck her hand in my purse because Bitsy was in my purse like this is the bag I carry Bitsy in I just throw her in there and I carry her around and um she like stuck her hand in my bag my purse and my camera and everything is in there and she was just like making sure Bitsy's not cold and then like I took Bitsy out because I couldn't care anymore because she was weighing on my shoulder and like that's bad for your back to have all that weight on one side so um, I put Bitsy on the ground. I was just gonna let her walk for a little bit. It's not that cold. I mean, it's like in the 50s, but Bitsy will be fine for a little bit just walking on the sidewalk. And, um, and there's other dogs walking by. It's not a big deal. Like, it's not like we're in Eskimo territory or something here. But anyway, she was like so worried about Bitsy. She kept coming over and like petting her head and feeling her ears and going, oh, her ears are cold. Her ears are cold. 
okay, her ears are cold. It's cold outside. Like, she'll be fine. And then she actually picked her up. She picked my dog up and started holding her. After she stuck my her hand in my purse, I was like, what the f***, lady? I don't know you. I mean, I'm fr I've been friendly with you for like 10 minutes because we're on this tour together. But like, you don't stick your hand in people's purses and start picking up their dog and like telling them that their dog's cold and like basically accusing me of being like irresponsible or something. I don't know. It was just really frustrating. It felt, um, I don't know. I was just irritated. Anyway, so that was the ghost tour and it's over and I'm glad that I did it because I am headed out of Savannah. This is, I'm going to crash one more night here and head out in the morning to a new location and you'll have to wait for the next video to see where I end up. You can probably guess, but maybe not. I don't know. Some of you might. Leave it in the comments if you have any ideas. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. I just had to show you guys this Walmart parking lot. It is insane. Look at this. It's like I walked into Animal Kingdom or something. It's just trees and Spanish moss everywhere. It's crazy. I just drove through. It was like weaving through the jungle over here. Alright guys, see you in the next video.